Welcome to Thin Blue Whiskey Slapdick Style. <laughs> We're about to let you guys know whether this agave whiskey from California is thumbs up, thumbs down. Come on back and we'll let you know. Gents, time to. I give it three thumbs up. <laughs> it's slap dick time. <laughs> it's slap dick time. All right, uh, where'd you get it? I got it from a buddy. Okay. Uh, he is actually manager of a, the paint store in Junction. Okay. He and I dabble in some whiskey every once in a while, share some things, and he's like, "Hey man, I got you this cool bottle of whiskey," and I'm like, "Neat," and I read it and I start giggling like a little girl. So. <laughs> you can't give me a bottle of whiskey and be like, slap dick. Oh, nope. I just, uh, sorry, I was noticing. I kind of. You like, you like tear down on the pores. <laughs> Are you going to fix that? or? Would... <laughs> I don't know if I want to. Don't be scared. Uh, okay. Before we get too into it, this is slap dick real agave whiskey. Now. Oh, God, I just want super heavy did you need a little more i was going to but i don't trust yeah. you i'll do no, it myself yeah, you, yeah. Get your own. this the name has to be like a marketing scheme right like hey if it's terrible at least they'll buy it because the name is hilarious i know nothing about this me neither so i i i whew. it's on my hands yeah i've done okay competition no so first and foremost the label okay Really cool. I do like the label. I like the label. Yeah. It's sharp. Uh, it's 90 proof. I'm kind of excited about that. Most of these kind of weird mm -hmm. uh, whiskeys out here, you know, they're 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 the yeah. 80 proofers. But um, so I'm digging the 90 proof. Uh, and this was produced and bottled by Kettner Distillery LLC out of San Diego, California. I don't want to go too much more into anything about this whiskey other than, you know, it's it's California and it's an aga it's a agave nectar flavored whiskey. So, uh, in preparation for this video, I looked on the old YouTube and I thought, I wonder if anybody's done a review on it. And there's been, I, I couldn't find any, like, real reviews. There's been a couple of videos posted about uh, the person that's behind this bottle, but I don't give a shit about that. I want to know if this. I want to know if this whiskey is any yeah. good. That's what I care about. So there was one video where somebody just took a chug off the bottle, and then the video ended. But it was like a review of slap dick whiskey, and it was just somebody chugging out of the bottle and then said nothing about it. I don't know if that was a review. Good review. So Solid. we're going to let you guys know whether this is good or not. So now, we scared. have not we have not even smelled. This is literally first reactions. Nose everything right here. I'm scared because you would figure if it was really good, there would be a bunch of reviews about it. Also, that's a, just the way my brain works. All right, I don't hate the nose right it's, off the bat. It's super light. Got some proofy ethanol running around. I was gonna there. say I that's. I have to get down in there. Yeah, I've got to. I've got to actually, really find that ethanol. I'm more of the novice, but I'm totally with him. <clears> like it didn't take me much. Like, oh yeah, there's, yeah, there it's it is. There's ethanol in there. It's just. I usually go straight for like the bottom first, and then get it out of the way. <laughs> So it's. I'm oh, getting right into it. It's a little bit of a grain. It's a little bit of a grain. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything because you guys haven't sipped it yet, but I'm utterly shocked. And I know I don't I don't anticipate either of you are going to so like it. Look, at, <laughs> thank you. Look at the legs on it. The long and hairy. 
They're not really hairy. Them. They get, they're long, but they, they're not that hairy, though. All right. Because I figured immediately it was going to be too sweet for either of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is, to oh. me, man, you could straight up throw some orange bitters in that and a cherry and just drink it like an old-fashioned shit. <laughs> it's ah. really sweet. That is extremely wow. sweet. Like, that would be what I envision if I was just going to suck on a sugar cane. Yeah. It's not, it's not sweet. It's not bad. It's just a lot. Cork in there? What do you got? I don't know. Something. Well, maybe it's a. Did you slap it? So maybe I shouldn't <laughs> say you guys were going to like it, but I guess the taste was really surprising. It's. That is. I wouldn't buy it again. It's all. It. It's, it's like if you were to buy the pre made cocktails in a can. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And really, you could throw a glass of ice and throw it in a glass of ice with a cherry. And I made you a little it, fashioned, so I'd be like, cool, neat. It'd be, it'd be pretty good. Yeah, I. We should barrel age it. By itself. That, I'm telling you, I think if we throw that in the barrel, that'd probably be pretty damn good. Mm, so, on top of my already done. Because it's, it's. Manhattan and. Old fashioned, because it's not. I expected that. I ex glimmer, I expected this to be terrible when I came into it, because it's yeah. a it's a gimmicky kind of whiskey with someone's name behind it with a a cool label, and I expected that whole man. This is just going to be some generic run of the mill swill or be miserable, and I actually it's, I don't. It's neither. I don't hate it. I wouldn't buy it as a whiskey to sip on, but I will literally probably take that home and dump it on some ice. And I thought we were going to put it in my barrel and age it. We don't have enough of it. We need two bottles. Oh, it'll fit in the barrel. It'll fit. It's like One it. bottle. So I guess I was wrong. I didn't think you guys would like it. Okay, I don't. Not as a whiskey. I don't right. like it. I can understand that. Like this. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, I don't even know if you can. It is so over the top sweet. It, I mean, it is like a mouthful of sugar. Sweet. Running around your mouth for a lot of. Bread. I, I don't know. I'm struggling to try and. I would like to pick out some notes, but I can't. It, it is so. You sweet. have sugar and ethanol. Yeah, that's yeah. There's some. You get a little bit of corn in there. Like yeah, dusty corn, and that's the only thing that ties it to whiskey right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. But they have straight up sugar water. It's weird. The like men in black yeah. sugar <laughs> water. It's Pur weird that more. dusty <laughs> that dusty more. corn note almost hits front just front of the tongue and then that super that super sweetness takes over the whole back of the tongue and back on the sides of the tongue and all the way down the throat. See, slap dick, right? Hitting you in the back of the throat. So you, 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 you obviously you're, talk, you're, you're talking about. You're, I'm going to move on from that because we're all mature, grown adults here, right? No, no, we're not. <laughs> He's like, speak for yourself. So, <laughs> why'd you bring adults to the party? Yeah, but you talk about, uh, er, you know, leaving the legs on the glass and you know running down. Mm -hmm. Do you really think that, that is that just sugar? Is that's what causing that? Like it is so sugary. I. I'll be honest. I, it's. I, oh, there's a grain of sugar right there. <laughs> it's agave, so it is a flavored whiskey. Mm -hmm. So it, it's gonna be in that same realm, uh, like with your cinnamon whiskeys, mm -hmm. um, like R and R peach and ground this is, peach and. This is, but this is way proofier. Oh yeah, ninety proof instead of thirty five. So or seventy. I suppose they could have added sugar to it, and it tastes like they. The agave they, syrup. 
it definitely tastes like they, they put enough in there. <laughs> All of it. I, I'm actually, I'm kind of with you. You throw just a few bitters on that. Yeah. And a, and a cherry. The yeah. bitters just to kind of offset that overpowering mm -hmm. sweetness. I do like orange or one of the fun bitters too. Like a black walnut. Oh, that. I think that would be too. I'd be too dry. Yeah. Like, I think I think it would hit at different times, and you'd be like, "Oh, that's really good," and then you'd be like, "That black walnut bitters would hit you in the back end." Like, ooh, dry. God. I am the newbie, and I would even say for me that's really sweet. So from a guy who doesn't have a palate that drinks whiskeys, from a guy that likes Jim Beam Black and Pepsi, even that is too sweet for me. Like cloyingly sweet. Yeah. I guess there you have it. I I, I was really going to try not to talk major shit on it. Um, even because, like, I, like you said, I expected it to be shit. <laughs> yeah, terrible. But, but yeah. it's not. I think it has its place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it, it has its. I think it has its setting. I mean, you could put that on ice and drink it on a hot day. I would not. Ooh, the, oh, the lake coming up. Oh, yeah, be so good. If we don't barrel age it, we. Okay, we're gonna barrel. We it. gotta barrel age it. We gotta see <laughs> what it does. Yeah. It took a whole lot of convincing. <laughs> oh no! So. It's just, oh. <laughs> so I, I really didn't. I really didn't know what to expect other than I expected to hate it and I expected to have to try and bite my tongue on it and not just completely talk massive shit. And I'm not having to because it's not awful. It's too sweet for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you know what? It, some people may actually not hate it. I can see people liking that, that I yeah. talk to that hate regular, like, neat whiskey that can be like, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... Like the neat, I don't think so. But I'm totally on ice. Oh, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Tame it down a little bit? Absolutely. All right. So there you, I guess there you have it. The old, uh, the official Thin Blue Whiskey Slap Dick Agave Whiskey review. Hopefully, <clears throat> it's the first one on YouTube, the actual, uh, an actual review of of this one. What what did we decide the price on this was? 40 40, 40 bucks. I'd say, yeah, man, I, it's all right for forty. I suppose it's like I said, if you if you like super sweet or you like flavored whiskey, it's it's definitely unique. Um, it's got a crazy story behind it. Might, it. it might have a it might have a place in the old liquor cabinet for forty bucks. It's not stupid price, but yeah, um, yeah don't uh, don't get your high hopes up and just think it's going to be the best thing you ever had. But it's it's decent, so. There you go. Thin Blue Whiskey. Slap Dick Whiskey. We'll see you next time right here.